Hey guys, Tivik here, and welcome back to Terraria, and I am just about to- Oh no. <laughs> that is just hilarious. I was about to click on uh, the suspicious looking eye, but I don't think that is a smart idea during a blood moon. Actually, let's just do it. It's kind of fitting. Hello, eye. some buffs as well. Set the eye on fire. Soon gonna be very angry with me, I think. Oh, the eye Cthulhu is such a breathe. Oh, here we go. Angry, hungry eye. Oh, it's going well. Oh, all out of Jester's arrows now. Okay, so I think that I can easily kill another one tonight. There we go. Turing a blood moon and all. Very fitting. I got... Um... Huh? I didn't get any... Oh, there it is. Who? I was wondering where my demonite or went away. Okay, so let's go. Here's another one. Here you are. Wow, that's a lot of damage from these arrows now. I could probably kill a few in one night. But I will run out of good arrows to kill the eye with. Oh. Okay, now we're on fire arrows. They do about 17 and then they tick for a while, so they're about as good as the other ones that I have. Okay, I'm gonna kill some of the small eyes here. Thorn Chakram is actually pretty good for this fight. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. More demonites. Right. So I have quite a lot of demonite ore now. Um, I have the time to go back to base, get a whole bunch of uh, eyes or lenses to make some more spawns for the Ayu Cthulhu. We might as well just kill it a few times since we're doing quite well on it. So let's see, uh, lens. Not sure what I need to craft it though. I think I might need one of these uh, demon altars. Um, I know that there is one. There is one down there. <laughs> it's a blood moon and there are zombies all over the place. Um, right. Gonna have to keep an eye on the time here to make sure that we don't run out of it. We can go down here. Righty oh, there are zombies hunting me and So I suppose I need these scales as well. There we go. 
should make three more. Let's uh, just take the mirror home. I hope that the sound levels are all right and the sound is not out of sync. Uh, it's kind of loud in my headphones, but... Just gonna... Lower it a bit in my headphones. There we go. Perfect. And... If I pick up this one, I can make a few more of these jester arrows. And have these as the main. And craft up... Oh, not too many of these because I don't have space. Let's get another one. Here we go. It's possible to kill it using this one. It's gonna take a bit longer. Nah, let's just shoot it with arrows. It's very useful that you can just uh, use shift click for the flare gun. Also, that they start to burn from the dragon. Okay, so we kill ourselves another eye. We get some unholy arrows from that, and of course, demonite. I'm up to two stacks of it now. Very nice. Let's just call another one. While we are at it, and while it's still nighttime, okay. So this one is pretty much a piece of cake. Um, if I break some shadow orbs in the corruption, I should be able to get a flail of some kind, which will help. Oh, I should have the arrow up. Um, the arrows. Up. Um, I should be able to get some sort of flail to be able to fight the uh, the big worm, the Eater Worlds. And I think that this room here might work for that, if I can call it here. I can summon it here. Otherwise I'll have to fight it in the corruption, which is usually not advised. But, yeah, it's doable. So we're on fire arrows now, and uh, phase one is done. Run speed actually helps a bit with this one. So you can dodge his attacks easier. Ow! <laughs> and that's one dead. I of Cthulhu. Right. Do I have time for one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's not kid around too much with this one now. Come back. Did it leave? Oh, because it's morning. Oh well. I killed him a fair few times. And uh, we have a lot of demonite now, so... Let's see what we can make out of the demonite bars. I should be able to make the pickaxe, or do I need to kill the other guy as well? Not sure. So, we got 60 bars. We can make Light Spane, War Axe of the Night, Demon Bow, which is a very good bow. But we cannot make... We cannot make that. Definitely getting the demon bow. Did we get a good one? Uh, just a normal one. 
perfect. Um, but, okay. That means I need to get the scales. Uh, yeah, so I suppose we go to the corruption. You just dump off some stuff and be right back with you, because I don't want to run with all this stuff, so... In a moment, see you soon. I'm in corruption. And there's a devourer coming for me. Uh, it's dead. Ooh, worm tooth and some rotten chunk. That's very nice. Um, so, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down into the actual corruption itself. Can I cut this? No, I can't take that. That's um, one of the reasons I need the new pickaxe. Let's go in this one. Um, let's be careful here. And just go a little at a time. Ooh. Don't want to fall down. Okay, so here's the shadow orb. So I need to get down there. How do you get down there? Well, I brought some bombs. Because they can break the ebon stone. Right, so let's... Uh... Perfect. Now I got myself down to one of these. Let's uh, break it. Got a musket. Hmm. The musket isn't really that good, but it is a ranged weapon. Um, and it's a first ranged weapon. Let's see. Can I somehow put a bomb here? Oh, nope. Did I kill that creature as well? I think so. Oh well. Doesn't hurt. Oh, come on. Um, I have removed the climbing equipment that I had. Um, that was not what I intended, but... Okay. I need to somehow get this to get stuck here. Can I do this so it won't bounce out so much? Um, okay, so the blade of grass is actually pretty good now. I don't quite remember it being this good in the previous versions of the game. Might have been, but it's definitely better now. Let's see, uh, more bombs. Hmm. I can put down some... Actually, that uh, chakram is very good as well. <laughs> okay, so let's see. If I... Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Throw a bo bomb there. Didn't work the way I wanted it to. Hmm. If I were to place this... That should be better. Okay, so I managed to get through there. Hmm. Can I do this then, maybe? Not there, but okay. Um, if I dig out a bit of a hollow there... Ooh, that was close. Much better. And then I make a bit of a... ...thing there to make sure that the bombs stay in here. Hmm. There we go. Much better. Right. So... Got the vile thorn. Is the vile thorn any better now?
could be useful against the, the Eater. And in this armor, actually, this might be very good. Well, I suppose. We go further down. And look for a, another one of these. Right, so it's in a bit of a tricky position there. Let's keep going down. Down. Corruption goes very far down now. Hmm. I'm worried. There it is. Goes fairly far down. Oh, come on. At least I'm getting some rotten chunks to be able to summon him. Oh, look at that. That's, uh... Okay, so... Not the best of places to be. Corrupt goldfish. Looks quite bad, actually. wonder, can I somehow get through to this? Hmm, almost. If I place out some more ebon block there... Yep. I will now be able to dig out here by digging a path like so. Light and air. Perfect. I'm very curious what's in this chest actually. And it's gonna be the last I do for this episode because I see we're out of time, but anything good? Feral Claws, a ninja statue. No, nothing really good. But this is more tin bricks. I picked up a few of these already, so... Um, yeah. In the next episode, I'm going to break this shadow orb. And we are going to have a, s a fight. Oh, that was probably not smart. Oh, it's okay. We should probably see if we can drain... What? Oh, if we can drain this water somehow. But that will be in the next episode. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>